Beer is the fifth most popular beverage on the planet. Potable water is the principal component of beer, typically composing of 90 to 95 percent of the total mass. Clean, potable water is also an essential component of almost every aspect of the brewing process, from wort production to the bottling of the finished product. It is estimated that efficient breweries use four to seven liters of clean water for every liter of beer produced. We visited three different scale breweries in the Tampa area to better understand how water and nutrients are managed at their facilities. The largest scale brewery visited was the Yingling Brewery in Tampa, Florida, which has a 475 barrel brew capacity with water coming from an on-site well. This makes our automation and water control technologies very important in their brewing process in terms of water use efficiency, but since they brew at such a large volume of beer, they are able to capture CO2 from the fermentation process, which is used in moving beer between tanks and in the bottling process. Currently, they are installing an on-site resource recovery system to eliminate nutrient loads to the public wastewater treatment plants. Yingling reduces their impact by repurposing the diatomaceous earth used to filter the beer into the asphalt concrete production at the end of its useful life at the brewery. In addition, they send their spent grain elsewhere for reuse and use the hot water exchange to reheat the wort, and the water from the government tanks is used to cool the wort. The medium-scale brewery visited was Cigar City Brewery in Tampa, Florida, 120-barrel brew capacity, with their brew water coming from the city of Tampa's infrastructure. What makes Cigar City Brewery unique from the larger-scale breweries is that they recycle their biomass for five generations, their spent grain goes to local farmers, they use cans instead of bottles, and excess heat from the heat exchangers is used to reheat the wort. The final brewery visit was to a much smaller local brewery and restaurant, Eulalie, located on the edge of downtown Tampa, which has a 15-barrel brew capacity. Their business model is vastly different than any other brewery because their priority is solely to serve their restaurant customers fresh beer. According to the brewmaster, Tim, approximately four gallons of water is used to make one gallon of beer, which is significantly more efficient than other breweries. This efficient water use is even more important because they are currently brewing their water with city water, but are working towards obtaining permits to brew with the on-site Eulalie spring water. In addition, the spent grain from the brew process is fed to local cattle, which are then repurposed at the restaurant to create a local closed-loop system. The brew process does not use any diatomaceous earth for filtering because they have tight control over their brewing process, unlike larger breweries. When possible, CO2 is used to move beer between tanks, and lastly, the beer is not shipped anywhere, which keeps its embodied energy low. We asked two USF students if they knew of any breweries that reclaim water or nutrients at their facilities. The things that Sierra Nevada does, as compared to some of the other breweries, is that they have on-site wastewater treatment. And uh, in the process, they, they actually recover energy from the organic matter and are able to utilize that energy in the brewing process to reduce their demand. Well, in Rhode Island, where I'm from, they have microbrewery, Newport Storm, and they actually, their 2014 special beer uh, incorporated snow as uh, their input for water. So I thought that was pretty interesting just to play around with the flavor, but also because it's kind of like sustainable because you're already using something that almost like rainwater harvesting, but something that's local and seasonal. So I thought that was pretty cool. I like beer. <laughs>